Welcome to another episode of Finlandia Fridays. My name is Michael Babcock. I am your host for this weekly interview series here at Finlandia University. This week we are joined by Schwartzen Jarmund. Schwartzen is a senior in our business management program here at Finland University. Welcome to the show, Schwartzen. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here. Yeah, um, you're a pretty well-known person around campus, um, and, I, and I know that because last semester I had a few people. They're like, "Where's Schwartzen this semester? You weren't here." So why don't you tell us all about, a little bit about where you were last semester? Uh, I actually took a study abroad session in, in uh, to Finland. I actually left a couple months earlier. I left in July, late July. Because um, <clears throat> I met up with a friend in, uh, in Helsinki, Kevin. Uh, he actually invited me to a basketball tournament where I was able to play some uh, semi-professional basketball. And, uh, uh, you know, sightseeing before I actually started my studies. So I was there a good chunk of time before classes actually started. Um, Finland was... Was amazing. I mean, I don't know how to where to start it from, but well, let's let's start at the beginning. Um, okay. Last year, last semester, this semester, this uh, spring semester, you were in a class with uh, um, Hillary Burton and okay. the um, Paulo Hamo fellows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that and what that program was? Um, in 2015, we actually, I was actually granted an opportunity from a in, uh, from a grant actually to go and study at, in in Finland um, for intensive field work which was uh, a f my first taste of Finland. It was, uh, I, I was already studying it um, here in Finlandia, of course. You know, she taught me, um, you know, so much about the history and culture and to actually go out and, you know, live among them for a couple of weeks and, uh, you know, see everything for what, you know, for what we studied. It was really, really, actually really good. So we did that for two weeks, um, intensive care. Uh, you know, we visit uh, Tampere, um, you know, met the mayor of Tampere, uh, did that, you know, and uh, I, I liked it so much that I wanted to go and, you know, do a, a longer session, actually, a, a longer period of uh, study. So that was, uh, that was really what initially made me, and I have to talk to professors and advisors and everything. Um, I was just really excited to go, actually. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, that, that program is, is funded by the Apollo Hamo Foundation, um, which is um, people that are trying to help spread the Finnish American heritage um, and try to keep it alive here um, in the United States. We want to thank them for the help with that. And if you want to know more about that program, um, go back. I think it was episode four or five. We had Hillary on, and she actually doc talked a lot about that, um, trying to get applicants for the semester. And there's currently there's a group of students that are going through the the pre-travel course. Um, so that that'll be a lot of fun. We'll actually bring one or one or two of those students in and talk about the course midway through, um, probably in a couple weeks here, um, to go into that. Um, but that led you to wanting to study, and you actually went over there for a semester. Were you a full-time student in Finland? Yes, I was. How was, um, you know, one of the basic questions I, you know, a lot of people ask is, you know, they speak Finnish there, so how, how was that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Finnish is, you know, their first language. Um, being that I was on the bike most of the time, uh, I was able to catch a lot of conversations uh, coming to school, but the program that I was in had a lot of international students, so the classes were actually taught in, in English. Um, the professors were actually, you know, talked to, you know, spoken English. Uh, they knew Finnish, obviously. I like, you know, I tried, I did learn actually a lot of Finnish. Uh, that was really cool. Anything you can uh, say on the show here? Um, Sorry to put you on the spot. Yeah, it's all right, it's all, it's all right. Uh, you know, <laughs> I know how to say the basics, but something, you know, nice about Finland is Palho, Suomessa, Rokka, Ha, Sulka. There we go. It's like a. Probably butchered it a little bit, but it means like I love Finnish food and chocolate. Finnish chocolate. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. What um one of the reasons I like to talk about this specifically is because we have a lot of Finnish heritage here at Finlandia University. Um, Kevin Manon was able to help you a lot with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were at Jam School, is that how it's called? Uh, Yamk. Yamk. Okay. Yeah, 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 a, okay. Yeah, yeah. And he actually used to teach there. Um, yeah. Did he provide a lot of assistance for you? He did actually. He contacted me all the way in the summertime he you know updates every two weeks did you make sure you did you get your fin uh did you get your passport did you get your visa did you get everything separated he was actually a, a big help made me make sure i stayed on top of it then when i got there they, a lot of students uh excuse me a lot of professors knew who kevin manning was and so that when they seen the philandia university logo they yeah. thought kevin manning so I'm like yeah you know he's great you know <laughs> yeah of course um so that, that international was, man of fame, Kevin. Exactly, Manning. yeah, exactly. So yeah, he was a huge help, huge help. Good. And I, so the reason I bring that up, I want people to students here to mm -hmm. to know that there are staff here that are willing and, and looking forward to helping you to do stuff like this. Um, you know, take advantage of these opportunities while you can. It's it's college. Mm -hmm. You got to do these things to exactly. live it up a little bit. Exactly, exactly. 
Um, we're, I'll talk about a couple of things a little bit more um, domestic here. Mm. Um, you're part of the Black Student Union. You've been a part of that for a few years. Why don't mm. you tell us a little bit about what that group is, mm. and um, let's talk about this semester after that. Okay. Well, uh, I became Black Student Union president last year after uh, after Dominic Morrow left. Um, before he was the president, uh, Johnny Moore was the president, and he was actually the leader when I was a freshman. That's actually how I got involved. He just uh, said, you know, just come out uh, to, to uh, you know talk talk about culture. You know, we hear you have a voice, and that was really important to me as a, as a freshman because uh, it showed one peer support, and that's what the Black Student Union is, is about. It's definitely about peer support. You know, um, you know, over the years, you know, we go through uh, periods in our lives that. You know, we, we we struggle with, and you know the faculty are always going to be a helping hand, of course. But it's, I think it's more importantly more important to you know have other advocates who are your around your age group who understand in the relational sense that listen, you're not you're not alone in your struggle, and so that was, it it really elevated you know me to a, a mature level of my of my personality of my professional development. And uh, we just invite everybody. Everyone's invited. You know, you don't got to be black, African American. You don't, you can be, you know, yellow. You can be whatever you want. You know, you come out, you share your culture, and that's what it's about. We hold a lot of events. Last year, we held the um, annual uh, Manaheim Central uh, Scare Hall, which yeah. is, you know, we, we do that every year. This year, unfortunately, we couldn't we couldn't do it. You know, I was abroad, and you know, uh, technicalities, you know, hindered it. But and um, mm -hmm. what happened last semester is kind of the group got a little bit quiet. Mm -hmm. But from what I can gather, you guys are coming back this semester. Mm -hmm. You're ready to be strong again. Yeah. What um first meeting next week? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, we technically we had our first uh, like that's our first meet and greet meeting. Yeah. So everybody, but we had a, a, a miniature meeting with a couple student uh, young student leaders. People here excited. Yup. 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 Yep. And so they're they're really uh, excited, you know, to you know see what we're about because you know we have a good reputation around around campus, one of the most active student student groups um, on campus. So. That's re that's really you know big. It's a tradition, you know that I'm glad I'm be, I'm be at the, uh, able to be a part of and able to carry out that tradition. Yeah. So let's uh, let's talk about next Thursday. You're just mm -hmm. an average student here. Mm -hmm. You see this on the event calendar. What 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 makes you want to go to this? Why do you think people would want to go to this? Uh, that's a great question. Well, one, a lot of people, in the, uh, traditional students. Let me say that in the dorms. Oh, I ain't got nothing to do. That kind of thing. You know. Um, you know, what is there to do? Uh, you know, kind of bored and things like that. I mean, it's something to do. You got to get active in this in this community. You know, you got to get out your comfort zone. That's what it's about, getting out your comfort zone. Um, to to to, the reason why I would just say get it. Why not meet? You know, what do you? If unless you have something, you know, better else to do, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, just come out and share sh share. You know, your culture. You know, if you don't think you have a voice, this is what this is about, having having a voice. This is a, the point where, you know, if you're from the Asia, the Middle East, or anywhere, you know, there's a chance to share your, your culture in this community. And that, that's what we, want, we would like to emphasize. Awesome. Uh, one more thing that I want to kind of touch base with before we end here. Um, you're heavily involved in the past with the Student Senate, including mm -hmm. being a former president. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have applications open for Student Senate for next year uh, really quick here. What um, what would you tell a student who's kind of looking at that application? What, why would they? Why should they take the time to fill out that application and become a student senate member? Okay. Uh, the reason why I, you know I did it, um, I used to complain about you know not being able to do anything and activities. We have activities here. Sometimes, as you know, young students, we we don't want to you know get out of our comfort zone, and that's that's what the challenge was: getting out of my comfort zone and actually you know trying to make a difference here. Um, after some, you know, great mentorship by Daryl Brown, uh, you know, Keith back in the day, uh, who were also part of, who was also, you know, student uh, president, um, student uh, senate president, and uh, Cam, you know, they, they, they encouraged other students to go out and to participate, get involved in the community, you know, to break out your shell kind of thing. And um, the reason why, my favorite part, to be honest, was Mock Rock. Just you know, seeing that flourish, I was part of it freshman year, and then I got to lead it as a junior. So you know, seeing that evolution of, of tradition, you know, here at Philandia, I'm you know, I'm just grateful for it. And, and that's coming up really quick. I just got the information on it. That'll be in March this year, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, we're gonna have to end it there. I appreciate you coming on, Schwartz, and it's been a lot of fun. Um, I think you have some really great things to say. I'm glad everybody was here to listen to this, to watch this, to kind of take some of this information in. Um, and we'll be back uh, again next week with another guest. Um, it's actually going to be Sandy Turnquist from our financial aid office. If we have any questions about financial aid or about 
um, tuition here at Finlandia, make sure you uh, send them to us. Uh, communications at finlandia.edu. Email them to us. And we'll, uh, we'll be sure to bring those up with Sandy next week. Um, thanks again, Schwartz, and for being here this week. And we'll, uh, we'll see everybody next week.